Hi, and welcome to the Paper Crafting Lemony Fizz channel. We are going to work on a poppy day, birthday, popcorn wrap thing today. Um, I've already done some assembling just to get kind of get us to the, the good parts. Uh, you, if you've already cut your file, this pink can either be pink or you can use a pattern paper. I just went with pink because I didn't have any bigger pieces of pa um, happy birthday or birthday themed paper. Um, and I've done a few things with some adhesive already just to kind of get us started. So first thing you're going to do is kind of lay your pieces out so that you know what goes with what. Uh, these parts that have the swoopy and the smaller um, just rectangle strips go with this. This is going to make the pouch for our popcorn. Then you've got the two bands that or the two pieces that make the band that wrap around. These are just covers for our spine. We'll get to that in a second. You should have the cake. A few candles. I've already assembled a few candles. Um, you got two larger pieces that mimic the shape, and this is for the back of the card. Okay, so that's the back pocket or back piece. We're going to put the pocket on that. And then you've got the front piece, and this can be pattern paper too if you want for just a little more oomph. Also, like glitter or sparkly things on your icing would be cute. And then we've got uh, the title, and I'm going to show you how to use the Xyron sticker maker to do that today. So I'm going to start with the cake and the front of this and the candle and start some gluing. Want this piece and it's liquid glue which as we all know I'm super messy with but it seems to work the best. You could totally run these through the Xyron too because they're small enough. My problem is um, I really don't like trying to get the sticky stuff off the edges like I'd rather just mess with the glue silly but um, when you run it through the Xyron you gotta kind of like rub the inside pieces to get the extra sticky adhesive part to not transfer and I seem to struggle with that and then it gets dirty and I just don't like the look so I'd rather just do the glue and have dirty fingers instead okay so there should be three candles those are gonna go on our banner at the front that says happy birth or poppy day or poppy birthday when we're all done um, not really much need for dimensional things on this unless you wanted to kind of pop the cake, which we might do when we get there. So then I'm just going to run some glue on this back panel. We're just kind of matting a couple papers. Again, if you were going to do pattern paper, you would want to cut it out of this, this one. It's the smaller rectangle of the two. I just went with pink because it kind of fit the theme and was already ready to go and I don't have scrapbook paper, yeah, scrapbook paper that's birthday themed right now unless it's just smaller. Um, the In the file, this bright pink represents pattern paper, so you choose to either keep it pink or do the pattern. And then the cake, I actually did the background of it once and then we'll probably, I think we're going to pop that and then... Um, some foam tape and then the cake itself we're going to pop too but we had to do this background layer because otherwise these lines show through on the on that pattern paper i just saw the foam tape and i lost it okay i'm gonna take these out while we're at it I, they come in like all those sheets and then there's no way to store them and they drive me nuts but i don't know what else to do with them so just run some foam tape across. If you want dimension, you can either use the pop dots or the foam dots or some foam tape. I'm just gonna run three. It should be the same size as the back panel, or if this is your front panel, but the, you get what I mean, the backing. Okay, then we need a few dots on this. Take some of these strays that are just hanging out, doing their own thing. 
And I'm probably going to glue along that bottom edge just because there's not really any room for dots and I don't really want the foam. It's going to kind of give it like a slanted 3D, but it's okay. I could probably cut some foam to fit in there, but well, actually we could probably fit a baby one in there. Let's see. In each corner. There we go. And that still leaves us room for the icing and this one. I'm going to do the two cake layers first and then add the icing. If you have embossing folders, embossing the icing or any of these layers would be cute. Add some dimension. Mine still haven't come. I've ordered them forever ago. It's worse than Christmas. have a feeling that once I get them, all the things will be embossed. All the things. Okay, and then just tuck that down as far as you can so that your frosting will cover it when you finally put it on there. And because there's enough space there, I don't feel like I need to use the pop dots. I can just glue. I'm just going to run a bead of glue right there. There's enough support there to hold that frosting. And same with the top. Okay, so the cake part is done. I'm going to go ahead and fold on my score line. This one folds away from you. This is the front panel, so it's going to fold to the back to make that back edge. If you need to run your, run your score tool along that line again, my Cricut hasn't been like scoring deep enough. I just calibrated it. We'll see if that fixes it, but... Okay, so there's that panel. I'm going to set that aside. We'll do the inside and then put it together. So these just get glue. Light, get all your corners and then across the center. And then you should have a little bit of a border. Just showing that brown behind. I'm going to do the same with the pink, and in your case it might be pattern paper. I haven't seen any birthday ones that really catch my attention yet. And I've got some really old Echo Park, but it's in like the 6x6 six six pad, so that wasn't going to work. Okay. So once that's done, that is your back, now we can put the pocket in, okay? So... I usually fold all my score lines first and then glue just because it seems like the moisture from the glue kind of messes up the score lines. In this case, I've done this a while ago, so it's already dry. But you're going to glue those little panels on just for an accent. And then this front panel, if you wanted to, you could put a sentiment there, um, something sparkly, shiny. You could turn it into a pocket and put a gift card or some movie tickets. Like, you got some options there. I'll leave that up to you. So you're just going to fold along all the score lines on each flap. There should be two on each flap. And this is going to make the pocket that the popcorn actually tucks into. Okay. So then glue your tabs. If you've got the double-sided tape, you can add it there. Tuck those in. This will actually tuck in too, but I'm going to wait for this to dry. So you can kind of put your finger down there and press those tabs if you need to, too. Um, if you have a tool handy, this next part. So these flaps should be, oops, see. Not sticking. Okay. Put a little bit in these corners, that'll kind of help support that, too. Get that all nice and secured, cured, 
in the fibers dry. Not doesn't have to be completely dry, but you you basically want it nice and solid before we move on to this next part. Looks like those are okay. So now you can either use your double-sided tape, two rows there, or your liquid glue, and run this all along the outside edges and the inside. Liquid glue kind of gives you a minute to reposition, whereas the other tape doesn't give you that time to reposition. So if you feel like you're not going to get it right spot on the first time, go with the liquid. Okay, you're going to hold this towards the bottom so it's flush right here. And then flush along the sides right here. And then if you fold this flap up, it just kind of helps you to position it left and right also. Okay. And once you're happy with your positioning, kind of put it on your table so that it's pressed all the way down and flush with that bottom. And then take something longer, butter knife, spoon, scissors, whatever, run it along the inside panels there to make sure that your glue is nice and pressed. Okay. And you just do that because basically sticking your hand in there is counterproductive because while you're trying to rub the flap, you're actually pulling up on the paper at the same time, which is trying to move it off where it's supposed to be getting glued to. So you'd be, it's a, that's an exercise in futility. Okay. A little bit more in those corners. Okay. Once you've got that, then your pocket will start to cure. We're gonna go ahead and leave that there for a second. Bring your front back in. Okay, and then open it up so that your two panels are facing each other like this. Okay, and I'm, I just did this double-sided tape on mine. You can run glue right now if you need to, the liquid glue. Okay, and you're just going to open that flap so that you're looking at both of them nice and open. And then line this edge up with that score line. And then the top and bottom of your panel so as straight and flush as you can get it. Okay. Seal it down, get a good rub, make sure it's nice and secure there. Okay, And then once that's done, then you can take these, which are just kind of decorative panels, and run some glue on that. Or if you've got the tape, and then those just glue to the inside like this. Just adds a little bit more color and pop. Write your message in here. A little more color and pop on the back. It's crazy how fun these are and how good they feel in your hand. They're almost like a paper book. You could almost turn them into like a little mini album or something. Especially once the popcorn's in there. Okay. Grab that. Write a movie title, happy birthday, something fun on there. So there's that. I'm going to set this aside and we're going to work on this band and let it dry while we work on the title. Edges, ends. Same thing. This could be pattern paper too if you wanted it to be. Just kind of go along the edge of that. A little bit of a border. I'm going to set that aside and let it dry, and we're going to bring in the title. Okay, so it says Poppy Day. I've got the Xyron sticker maker. This thing is old, old and dusty. Okay, so the idea is I've got this little opening. Whatever fits in there, you can turn into a sticker. So you just put the alphabet or the letter or the piece, whatever, down inside there. Okay, hopefully you can see that. And then you just pull, and it starts to go through with the, like, the adhesive tape. There's tape on this white or like a kind of some, some kind of sticker sheet on the white. And then the clear is what actually helps remove it and make it so that you can pull your stickers out when you're all done. I'll show you. So you can either run them through singly or you can start to double them up if you've got room. So see, I've got room to put the A and the Y next to each other in there. Pull through, watch them, make sure they get caught. Sometimes they get staticky and just stick to the orange. Okay, and then you just pull it out till it gets to that cut part. Pull it. Okay. And then you rub all around the edges inside the holes so that it 
the adhesive is now going to stick to the clear. Anything that's left over needs to be stuck to that clear topping, okay? And your letter on the back side is going to have that adhesive stuck to it, and it's going to be a sticker. So I'm going to just use this to kind of get in those holes. If you've got an embossing tool, something that's got like a nice tip that's not super sharp, obviously because you don't want to stab through it, but you just kind of rub all the way around everything and then in those holes. And that just makes it so that none of the extra goo is left on the edges of your letters. Okay, and then you just grab a corner and pull that clear off. You can see how the glue is coming with it. Okay, the extra is no longer on this white. This isn't sticky at all. This top one is. You just pull all that off. That's garbage. And you just pick up the other garbage. Okay. And now you've got sticker letters instead of having to run the glue, right? And you're ready to make your title. So it's going to say Poppy Birthday. And you should have enough room. I always, always start too far over or something and then never, never center it the right way. Okay, so much easier than putting glue on the back of them. I didn't want to come off. Um, I want the Y to end up right here, so I'm going to go backwards. I thought there was an exclamation point in there too, but I guess there isn't. My black is still giving me fits, so I actually um, didn't remove the mat this time, and then I just hit the cut button again and had it cut it twice. This is after I spent forever messing with the first version. I still did it wrong, <laughs> and I spelled it wrong. Um, anyway, I did... Um, let me see if I can scooch those. I sat here and fiddle fussed with all of the letters forever trying to figure out how to get the centers out and make them like nice and they were all fuzzy and it was driving me nuts. And so it was like a quarter of the time to just go back and cut it again and then hit it twice. I just hit the button twice so that it can squeeze that H right in there. Nope. Anyway, I did it two times so that it cut through the paper twice and actually was able to get the letters off nicely because it was not nice the first time. B-I-R-T. I can't spell backwards. Okay. And you see inside that B how it's still, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it still has like some of the adhesive that's kind of popping through. Like I didn't rub it enough to get it out. And when you do that and it's still on there, then you end up, I mean, those black pieces are obviously from the letter and from me moving it and from the little hairs that were still on it. But the more you <clears throat> mess with those stickies in the center, the dirtier they get. And then they start sticking to stuff like that. It's my only drawback with that. So like inside that D. Okay. If I go over that with something that's good enough. Okay, I'm going to pop that up. If I had some glittery something or other, I'd probably put that on there at this point. And I might redo that later. Just to give it some pizzazz. Band-Aid's coming off. I almost dropped my Cricut blade on my toe this morning, and so... Then I was being careful about that and I sliced my finger on the cutting or on the knife blade when I was getting ready to calibrate it. It was one of those mornings. Okay, I'm gonna grab popcorn. Just because it's kind of nice to have it in there when we do this next part. So you just slip the popcorn down inside there. Okay, close it up, and then we're gonna wrap this. So you just put it on the front, wrap it around the edges. You kind of want it like you want it loose enough to slide but not so loose that it just falls off okay so you kind of got to fiddle with it a little once you're kind of happy with where it's at then go ahead and run some glue behind the back here all the way down to that tip and then on the tip of this just where it's gonna meet I don't need super much okay 
to kind of just leave a little bit of a gap that I can see there. Hold it for just a second. If you're worried about other stuff sticking, you can put like a piece of paper or something underneath there, just in case your glue is like oozing out. Okay. And that's why I put the popcorn in there too, so that you can get a good press without like squishing your box. Okay. And then that should slide off and on nicely. Okay, off so that you can open it. Back on so you can slide it up. And then we're gonna put that on there and our candles. And I think, yeah, we still have room for the, I wonder if the candles should be there or if they could be, might be kind of cute behind it. What am I gonna do behind? Okay, so just a strip of glue here. I originally was going to put them on this, but I think they'll get kind of mutilated while you're sliding that up and down. So, and they're kind of cute behind, behind the label too. So I think we're going to go that route. The green in the center. Just like that. Okay, so just run a little bit of glue. And obviously you can change the size of these, put them where you want pop them up, put them on the cake, whatever design factor you like best there. If you've got some bling to add to the poppy, if you've got some brads maybe in the corners there, that would be cute. Okay. okay, there we have it. Thanks for watching. If you have questions, comments, leave them below. Be sure and hit like, subscribe. Uh, let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see me make. Super fun popcorn wrap, and I will talk to you later. Thank you.